All right, fall festivals are back in full swing, leaving that slow summer season behind. Bluesberry Fest is one of the many to look forward to this month, and it's actually coming up next Saturday in Covington. So joining us now to tell us more about this awesome festival is committee member Daniel Munn. Thank you so much for being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. He's so excited. I know that means it's going to be a good festival. So tell me for what folks can expect. This is the third year, right? Third year, and this is going to be the biggest year ever. So it's going from 1130 till 9. Usually it's a daytime festival, uh -huh. but this time we're going a little bit later this in the evening right and it's the perfect place to have a music festival so there's shades there's trees there's a beach there's a river that goes across it with sand and everything it's so beautiful perfect spot to hold a music festival we're gonna have blues artists of course we're gonna have two stages this year so that's kind of fun and um, we're gonna have the ozone songwriter stage featuring some local and regional artists and then we're going to have the west staff the main stage featuring the bigger artists from the national so a uh, band of heathens for example and so many others i cannot mention them all um, and then, of course, Samantha Fish is going to be closing us down. Um, she is going to be amazing. If you've never seen her in person, you're definitely going to have to be coming to that headliner, Samantha Fish. Please show up for that event. And now, the big question I have to ask, Bluesberry. <laughs> will there be blueberries in there this festival? There will absolutely be blueberries. <laughs> There's no doubt. So we're going to have like 20 plus artists selling some of their wares. We're going to have uh, so many food vendors, so like Food Truck Roundup. They're going to be selling some of their most popular dishes along with a blue, putting a blueberry spin on some of their uh, old favorites, right? And then also, I have a breaking news for you guys Ooh. today at WDSU. Um, uh, Abita Brewery is Ooh. bringing back it's blueberry beer. How's that for alliteration that for you? So uh, that's an exclusive for our festival one day only. Uh, Abita Brewery is bringing back blueberry beer. I practiced that so long, you guys. You did you don't it even so know. well. Um, I don't know why I'm here. He could do this without me. <laughs> so you guys, um, that you're gonna have to show up for that. It's one of my favorite ones of all time. So that is not you're not gonna miss that. No, I have to ask. Are there any changes this year compared to other years in the past? Yeah. So this year we are going a little bit later. So there's gonna be some lighting elements. Ooh. We usually it's like a daytime festival. So um, now it's gonna go into the evening and. Of course, you guys, this weather is so amazing. Oh my goodness, you are not gonna miss it. And also one thing, we're gonna be doing, uh, School of Rock is coming, and they are going to be providing free music lessons for kids, so they're gonna be bringing instruments. How awesome is that? Um, there's going to be uh, you know, playground with swings and slides, face painting, balloon animals, all the fun things. So family fun event. Totally family fun, and another thing you guys, re re remember this, okay? 10 and under, kids 10 and under are free. Oh my goodness, how awesome is that? So uh, the tickets are $30 at the gate, uh, so, sorry, $30 online or $40 at the gate and you can get the tickets on the link that you're putting below. I was going to say, let's take the full screen. Like I said, I'm just going to go home. He's going to finish this segment for me. Maybe the whole show. I can do the weather too. Yeah, okay. Lee, it's watch awesome out. Weather. He's coming oh, sorry, for you. <laughs> All right, so here's everything you need to know yes. about Bluesberry Festival. I'm already hyped, and it's not even the weekend <laughs> of yet. That's in Covington next Saturday. We will put all that information on WDSU.com. Thank you for being here. Thank you so Lee, much for having me. You're on the clock. What's the forecast uh, look like? Well